Now that we've learned how to create a task using a pocket base and stored inside the database, as well as fetch existing ones, it is time to move on to the next part, which is deleting and editing tasks. As you can see on the right side of the of each task, there, is, there are two buttons, the edit and the delete buttons. The edit is going to be basically uh, a button that redirects us to the edit tasks page, which I'm going to show you how to create in this tutorial. And this delete will basically pop up a uh, confirmation message that, uh, that asks you if you want to go ahead and delete it or not delete the task or not. And for these icons, it's very simple and straightforward. All I have to do is go back to uh, Google material symbols right here, icons page, and then search for the edit or delete or whatever icon. And then once you find it, you click on it and then make sure you're on the web section. And then you scroll down until you see the inserting this icon, inserting this the icon section. And you first copy it, go back to VS Code inside the to-do list.jsx and then uh, paste it inside this button element. As you, as you can see, I created uh, a div with class margin left auto, which basically positions everything uh, to the positions everything to the right side of uh, the task. And then uh, there are two button elements and each button has a span nested inside the span, which is the icon in this case. So you paste it inside and then you change this class to class name because uh, React would complain if it, if it was just class instead of class name. And then uh, for the edit button, I just uh, made sure it has a background of uh, gray and then uh, padding on left and right is is eight pixels each did the same with the button but instead it has a reddish uh, color now one last thing before we uh, get on with today's content uh, this import import dot meta dot environment because basically what I did with the URL is stored as an environment variable and this uh, env file uh, only has this uh, URL because that's the only thing we're going to need it for uh, but inside Veep, make sure to prefix the fix your environment variables with feet underscore. It's just a weird quirk that I found. Feet will only let you use environment variables if they are they start with uh, with this feet underscore thing for whatever reason. In case you want to know, the environment file is basically in the root of the uh, source directory, src directory. And yeah, and then uh, inside of V, you just uh, type in import.meta.env and then V underscore whatever you name the environment variable. So in this case, it's pocket base instead of the usual process.env. And yeah, that's all it takes. Now we're going to get on with uh, today's uh, content. So in order to uh, delete a task, all you have to do is just uh, create the delete function. The reason why we need an ID is because if you go back inside the pocket base admin UI and click API preview, then delete. You can see that this uh, ID right here is uh, a required uh, URL parameter as well as a required parameter uh, for this uh, delete method in pocket base. So uh, first, before we delete anything, we want to make sure that the user wants to go on and delete it. So we're going to type in uh, create a variable called confirm. So let confirm. The reason why we're using let is because this value can not either be truthy or falsy. So it's not a constant variable. Now this let confirm will be window dot confirm. And then are you sure you want to delete this task? This is going to be our prompt message. And basically we're going to say if confirm if the message hasn't been confirmed. So if the user clicks cancel, we're going to do nothing so return otherwise we'll carry on with the deleting function so type in await client cons uh, collection then tasks and delete and pass in the id and then window dot location dot reload and this is going to basically uh refresh our page once this deletion process is completed. Back inside our to-do list, uh, we are gonna, gonna add an on click to this delete button. So on click, and then there's gonna be a callback function. So it's gonna be a delete task, and uh, it's gonna take in the task.id as the parameter so that this method will know, will know exactly which record to delete. Back inside our front end, uh, if we try to delete, for example, it's not working because we haven't imported this delete task method. So we're going to do gonna do just that. We give it one more go. There it is. 
Are you sure you want to delete this task? Oh, I'm going to click cancel. Let's try the other one. Okay. Oh, there you go. Refresh the page. Later on in this course, I'm going to show you how to add a uh, a loading message right here that shows when uh, whenever we have some tasks loading. All right. So that is it for the delete task. Very simple, very straightforward. Now it's time to move on to the edit task. So we're going to go here and uh, I already created this edit task inside SRC pages. But before we do so, we want to go ahead inside our uh, button highlight this section right here, control shift P, and then wrap uh, this in a link element. So link and then square brackets to denote an attribute in the Emmet abbreviation style. So two equals and then a colon. And not going to be double quotes, it's going to be a template, template literal. So right, so back ticks. And that's because we're going to use a dynamic value inside of this string. So it's going to be edit for slash and then brackets right here, task dot ID. Hit enter and it didn't reflect that. So forgot to add the dollar sign. So let's do that. And then we also forgot to wrap this inside a pair of curly braces. So all right, there you go. If you go back here and then click on edit, for example, you can see it redirects us right here. Look at the URL closely. You have uh, for slash edit and then the task ID of the one that we want to uh, edit. So yeah, everything is working as it should. Now it's time to move on to the editing, editing page. So want to go ahead to edit tasks, which is inside SRC uh, pages directory. Actually, we're going to use reuse the JSX inside the create tasks. So right here and um, everything is pretty much the same throughout now. I right, remember that uh, we need the ID right here. We basically passed in uh, our ID as a dynamic value in the uh, in the URL. So it gets the ID of our record that we want to edit. And it just so happens to be a required parameter for the edit method. So we go back here and then update. As you can see, actually not one, but two right now. So you have update uh, record ID and data. The first parameter is going to be the ID and then the data object. Now for this user right here, just ignore it for now, because like I said, it's not a required parameter. I am going to show you like how to update per uh, tasks per user when we get to the auth part, which is next video. Now, all we have to do right now is back inside our pocket base JS. All we have to do is just export async again function edit task or as a matter of fact, we can call this update task, whichever you choose really edit update doesn't matter. We're going to pass it in ID and then await client and then task collection update ID. Now we just need the data. So const put in the title and description const data is equal to title and the description on the data. Now back inside our edit task, uh, we're going to set up this handle submit. Actually, we don't need this anymore. You can go back here uh, inside our on click and then get rid of this handle submit and then uh, create a callback function as such update task and then pass in the ID. Now to get the ID to get the ID from the URL, all you have to do is go right here and then destructure our ID using the use params hook that is defined inside our uh, that is defined in react router. As you can see, I imported it earlier on top. First, we're going to pass in an ID and then the title, which we defined on find on the top and then the description. Actually, let's uh, put it back inside our handle submit because we also want to handle some stuff. So we can do that handle submit inside our handle submit. All we have to do right now is uh, it's going to be a function, an arrow function. Instead, what we can do is take this, take this logic from our create task, paste it inside our update task. But instead of create on top, we're going to use our update task call. Let's try destructuring the navigate, not destructure, excuse me, uh, call the use navigate hook. So use navigate. Let's try one more time. Save. All right, there you go. That's cool. Now, finally, inside uh, our to do list, uh, like I said, we needed uh, 
needed to put in default value or actually default checked is going to be task dot completed the name of uh, the attribute which checks for completion back inside the pocket base uh, JS we'll get rid of this export now we need to export another asynchronous function then check task it's gonna check for completion right here now we want to pass in an ID and a title but this time instead of description we can do completed and then and then we go in and uh, define our data objects so title title completed um, it's going to be a completed and then finally we can take and copy this paste it back inside our uh, to-do list we're going to define a, a state called completed set completed equal to you state and this is going to be a false by default actually let's update this instead of check task it's going to be toggle toggle task all right back inside our to-do list we're going to add an on change method callback function task dot sorry toggle ta toggle task and give it a task dot i dot title because this is required in our database and then uh we're going to give it a uh, completed right here which is again the same mistake i'm doing here i forgot to put it inside a uh, an external handle change function so handle toggle task right here and then we are going to set completed to not completed and then we can toggle this task click again task is not defined in reality the error right here is uh, basically uh, we're calling this task.title inside of an external function that is not uh, in the scope of our tasks.map when in reality we should be able to put it in there so I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna copy this right here you can delete it get rid of this and then the callback function will we'll take in these two calls right here also did one more stupid mistake and that is I forgot to pass in the ID of the task inside our pocket base we need to invert it so uh, this completed will be the opposite of uh, what it already is so not completed let's update it so it's not completed save changes false go back and refresh we check it again refresh the database and now it is true all right so that is that is basically uh, all of the database uh, work for pocket base next, next time we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to uh, create some sort of auth layer inside of our application and then we're basically pretty much done so thank you again for watching um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time